Well, it's certainly fashionable in NATO nations now to express dismay at the state of international relations. The doomsday clock is now closer to nuclear Armageddon than it's ever been, arguably in part because Donald Trump's finger is poised over the red button that not only controls billions of dollars of U.S. nuclear weaponry, but Britain's as well. Sixty years ago today, the campaign for nuclear disarmament was founded and the images and arguments put forth in its early years are arguably just as relevant as they were then. Deputy Editor Sebastian Packer went to speak to CND's General Secretary Kate Hudson and artist Peter Kennard, who has been working with the campaign for nuclear disarmament for nearly 40 years. We know um, about nuclear weapons because we've seen it in Hiroshima. We've seen the suffering, the horror of that and yet we've got to imagine it into our own environment. We've got to imagine it as what could happen across the world unless we do something about it. Well, we say that CND is one of Britain's most enduring mass movements. It was founded in 1958 in the midst of absolutely enormous public concern about nuclear weapons. So the first demonstration took place in 1958, the first mass meeting which founded CND took place on the 17th of February 1958, so 60 years ago today. The first meeting had about 5,000 people attending it and from then it was on from strength to strength. Hundreds of thousands of people became involved over the next few years, demonstrations, protests, protests at bases, sit-downs in Westminster, you name it, that was taking place. Well, I started working with CND, I think it was 79, um, and it was when cruise missiles, it was announced that they were going to come to Greenham Common and Molesworth in a couple of years. So I went to CND and it, this was in 79. They were a very small organisation. I can remember a tiny little room, I think in Hoban, and um, everyone was just, there wasn't, didn't seem to be any chairs. People were just on, sitting on the floor. Someone brought a cake in. It was tiny. As an artist, I, wa I didn't want to sit in my studio, you know, waiting for the muse to descend. I wanted to actually get involved in, in things. So the first one I did was the broken missile with the CND symbol. And, I, and they're all made very crudely. I actually went to Hamley's, which is the big toy shop, and they, and they seem to have a guided missile department for 10-year-olds. And so I bought some plastic missiles and then smashed them up with a hammer and then photographed them. Um, so the actual um, original is very crude, which I like, and then that was used by CND um, on posters at the time um, when we had the big marches in the beginning of the 80s, because suddenly CND escalated. It suddenly had a quarter of a million members. There were, there were enormous demonstrations and cruise missiles, um, uh, the arrival of cruise missiles was the turning point, in, uh, I feel, for CND in terms of people's involvement. Today, our government saying that they wanted to replace Trident nuclear weapon system, our nuclear weapon system, at vast cost, so massive popular opposition to that. The overwhelming majority of people would rather spend that money on, uh, on health, on social care, education, jobs, homes and so on, rather than spending it on weapons of mass destruction. It was very shocking for everyone, I think, to see last week the report that a homeless person had uh, died just in the proximity of the Houses of Parliament from cold, sleeping rough in the street. There's no, there's no rational explanation for it. it. I think for ordinary, decent people, which is the overwhelming majority of people here and elsewhere, it's just inconceivable that people would choose, people in power would choose to spend our hard-earned taxpayers' money on weapons of mass destruction that can kill millions of people rather than spending it on ensuring people's needs are met. You know, that, that people in the 21st century should die on the streets of London close to Parliament. It's, it's just unbelievable. We need really a, a reorientation of our national priorities. And I believe that the people as a whole, the majority of the people, share those common values with us. This is a, a normal human concern value. Uh, it's the government that's out of step. It's the political elite that's out of step. And the government didn't actually want 
anyone to see the realities of it. It didn't want nuclear weapons to be connected to the horrors of Hiroshima, which um, everyone knew about, but they, they wanted to sort of make out that nuclear weapons were possible. They were sane. It's that thing of uh, uh, something that's completely insane, something that's completely horrific. Um, w is turned into something that's every day. That's what I've always been trying to counter with this imagery. And that's what CND is trying to counter to this day, is this sense that we can live with these things and it's quite sane to have them. Um, and, and we know it isn't. Uh, it, the minute they're used, they're gonna just explode all over the world, you know. Broken missile was used a couple of years ago in anti-Trident demonstrations. You know, we've still got, we've got this Madness of we're spending a you know 230 billion on this reconditioning of Trident you know um, each each missile is equal to 38 Hiroshima's I mean there's there's the madness of nuclear weapons gets more and more intense now with Trump saying that we're going to make usable nuclear weapons and joking about the size of his butt and all this shit, you know you just can't believe it because nuclear weapons the minute they start they're going to blow up the world and they're in the hands of complete crazy well they're not crazy they're power hungry maniacs um, and so the imagery that I'd started by making in the 80s is still as relevant and it's, it's good that it's being used again but it's horrific that it needs to be used again. It's a shame in many ways that we still have to use his images and, and new images against this, that we still have to carry on 60 years on. But the dangers are there, the dangers are again increasing and becoming greater. So we will continue to work with Peter and to work with the hundreds of thousands of other really dedicated people across Britain, our partners internationally, will carry on working together until nuclear weapons are finally abolished.